Hey everyone, Bobby King here from Iraq with your latest update on Iraqi Dinar news. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and support my channel. Today, we're diving into some critical developments involving the Central Bank of Iraq, the Federal Reserve, and the US Treasury. You might have seen some alarming headlines lately suggesting that things are looking grim for Iraq. But let me assure you, this is actually great news for us investors. We'll also address the recent speculation about the resignation of the central bank governor, Al Alak. Is this an admission of failure or a strategic move to escape the fallout from the financial crisis? Stay tuned as we unpack these developments and what they mean for our investments. Let's get into it. In recent weeks, headlines about Iraq's financial and currency reform processes have stirred considerable concern and speculation. Many observers might be tempted to view these developments as negative indicators for Iraq's economic stability. However, a closer examination of the situation reveals that these headlines might not reflect the full picture. The ongoing interactions between Iraq's central bank, the Federal Reserve, the Fed, and the U.S. Treasury, while seemingly tumultuous, may actually signal significant progress in Iraq's currency reform process. This article aims to unpack these dynamics, particularly focusing on the implications of the central bank governor's resignation and what it means for investors. Central bank governor's resignation. A deeper look one of the most striking recent developments is the resignation of the central bank of Iraq governor, Ali al-Alaq. Media reports have suggested that this resignation might indicate a failure in Iraq's financial strategies or even a prelude to deeper financial troubles. However, interpreting these events requires a nuanced understanding of the broader economic context. 1. The context of the resignation Mustafa al-Alaq's tenure as CBI governor has been marked by efforts to stabilize Iraq's economy amidst considerable challenges. His resignation, therefore, might not necessarily be an admission of failure. Instead, it could represent a strategic move within the broader framework of financial reforms and international negotiations. 2. Financial stability and reform progress during al-Alaq's time in office, Iraq has seen substantial efforts to achieve financial stability and currency reform. The central bank's policies under his leadership have been aimed at curbing inflation, stabilizing the currency, and managing the country's foreign reserves effectively. These efforts have contributed to a degree of financial stability in a country that has faced significant economic turmoil. The resignation of a central figure like al Alaq could be part of a larger strategy to facilitate a smoother transition to the next phase of economic reforms. The Role of the U.S. Treasury and Federal Reserve 1. The U.S. Treasury's involvement The U.S. Treasury has played a critical role in Iraq's financial reforms by providing guidance and support for currency stabilization efforts. Recent actions by the Treasury, such as changes in financial policies or directives, are often aimed at ensuring that Iraq's financial system aligns with international standards and facilitates effective currency reform. These actions can be seen as part of a broader strategy to support Iraq's economic transition, rather than as punitive measures. 2. The Federal Reserve's influence The Federal Reserve, while not directly involved in Iraq's domestic financial policies, impacts the global financial environment in which Iraq operates. Changes in U.S. monetary policy or economic conditions can affect Iraq's currency value and financial stability. The Fed's policies can influence international capital flows, which in turn impact Iraq's foreign reserves and economic strategies. The impact on investors for investors, understanding these dynamics is crucial. Recent headlines may suggest uncertainty or instability, but there are several reasons to view the situation positively. 1. Progress in currency reform The apparent upheavals and changes within Iraq's financial institutions can be interpreted as steps toward implementing deeper reforms. The currency reform process, which includes efforts to stabilize and strengthen the Iraqi dinar, is a long-term endeavor. While transitions may be accompanied by short-term disruptions, they often pave the way for more robust and sustainable financial systems. 2. Potential opportunities for investors, periods of transition and reform can present opportunities. As Iraq moves forward with its financial and currency reforms, there could be potential benefits for those who are well informed and prepared. Understanding the broader context and the steps being taken by Iraqi authorities, along with the support from international financial institutions, can help investors navigate these changes effectively. The recent developments involving the Central Bank of Iraq, the U.S. Treasury, and the Federal Reserve are indicative of a complex and evolving financial landscape. 
While headlines may paint a picture of instability or crisis, a deeper analysis reveals that these changes are part of a broader process aimed at achieving long-term economic stability and currency reform. For investors, it is essential to remain informed and consider the broader implications of these developments. Understanding the strategic moves and their potential impact on Iraq's financial system can help in making well-informed investment decisions and seizing opportunities in a dynamic economic environment. In conclusion, I encourage everyone to stay positive and patient, as patience is the key to success. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe to my channel and support me. Wishing you all a fantastic day. Thank you.